I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I like to play online, and when you play online, you have to make decisions quickly, so I like to practice with Charleston Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We are going to do six laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we're going to have 14 tiles for dealer, 13 tiles for non-dealer. I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each sprint. North, three, six, nine, four, six, eight, pair eight. We have sixes and eights. I'm thinking three, six, nine looks good though, too. Let's keep three, six, nine. We can let this south go. Let's pass these. Six, three, six, nine looks pretty good. Three, six, nine, six, nine, three. Let's pass these three. Six, nine, six, nine, three, six, six, nine. Maybe if we get a three, we can use that. Let's pass these three. Flower, oh, oh. Let's pass these three. No keepers. I'm almost glad because now we have tiles to pass. Dragon and a six. Three, six, six, nine. I would pass one blind. Oh, optional cross. Lap. We got the dragon back. But look at this. Three, six, six, nine. One away from set. We can Kong and either Pung or Kong these two. So we need to build up the three or the nine. Four discards. I probably would discard the wind, then the dragon. Maybe keep, maybe keep that dragon. There were two dragons in here. And if they're being discarded early, if no one keeps them, that might get escalated. But 369, that looks really good. Uh, this is the fourth, let's see, first hand under 369. We have two, three, four, five, seven. I think I would focus on consecutive run. We've got to let something go though. Let's let this red dragon go. Consecutive run, two through five. There's a four. I would let these go here. Four, seven, one. Bam. Two, three, four, five. I think at this point I would let, oh, dragon. We have a pretty strong potential here, though. I would let that go. If we can get a one, we could play the first consecutive hand. Here's a two. I might even try for a quint here. Let's pass these. Flower. Okay, two, three, four, 
three, four, five. We have a pung in there. Let's let this five go. We have no jokers. Let's pass these three. Flower, dragon, two, three, four. We really, with these flowers, I don't think we need that dragon. Three. With this, no gaps, I would risk passing a white dragon. No keepers. Discards. No gaps. We've got our pair. This is the second hand down. We could Kong, Kong. We need to build up the four. That could even be a pure hand right there. Three discards. That was a fantastic Charleston. North, I would let go. We've got 369 again. I think that's what I would focus on. 369. 369. We do have 234 though. We do have tiles to pass. I'd let those go. 3. 369 potential. Here's a 5 now. 2345. 34569. Let's let these go. Six, three, six, three, six, nine. I'm thinking maybe the concealed hand or one suit. Let's let these go. Dragon, we got a three again. Two, three, four, five, six, dragon. There's a potential pair hand in there. Let's pass these. Flower. Tiles to pass. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, six, nine. We really, eh, the dragon. Let's pass these. That's really risky, but we could be playing a pair hand. No keepers. I would pass. No keepers. Optional cross. Lap. I think I forgot to hit a button. So we have three discards, but we have a potential pair hand. One, two, three, four, five. I would risk passing tiles as we did for a pair hand. We could also maybe play three, six, nine with flowers if the pair hand doesn't come in. Let's see if I can figure out the timing. With American Mahjong, sometimes there is a need for speed. That would be primarily playing online or in a tournament. If you do either of these things and you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. I think I forgot to hit a button for the timing, so I'll insert the times here. <laughs> During the Charleston, your passes are going to get more and more risky, especially if you're playing a big hand like a quint or a pair hand. Assess that risk and accept the consequences because those passes could be building your opponent's hands. Sometimes if you can build a big hand quickly during the Charleston, that risk is worth it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.